my gems welcome back to my channel thank you for watching i hope everybody's had a lovely day and so today we're gonna go ahead and do a last look on the royals uh by profusion palette we're gonna go ahead and do one last look a third look before we, move, before we move on to the next eyeshadow palette wear a test so um so yes yeah, so we're gonna do a little we're gonna do it a little different today so if you're new to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell and like my video so we're gonna do it a little different so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is come off camera I'm gonna do one eye and then on then I'll come back on camera and then you'll see how I did how I got the look I'm gonna do my left eye first so I'm you're gonna see how I got the look for my left eye on my right side of the eye so yeah so I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching so Stay tuned, don't change that channel, and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so I started on one eye. So I, wanted to, I had this idea in mind, and I wanted to make sure I did it correctly before coming on camera and redoing this eye look all over again um, and any mistakes that I might have made. So that's why I went ahead and I did one side of my eye, which I hardly ever do because I always do both sides on camera. But today we're gonna do one. We're gonna do one side of the of the eye, which I found it much easier for me to be able to accomplish this look that I have. I'm not sure if y'all like this look, but um, um, to me I think it looks more very like smoky fall looking colors. And I we're going into the spring already. We're in January, but still, you know, it's you know in that air in that um. In the, the time of the seasons, you know, where we're still using like little autumn, we're using autumn colors, natural colors, uh, before we get into the spring. So let's get started with this eye look. And um, I'm going to prime my eye. And I'm going to see if I can accomplish it. Almost the same as my left eye. I'm gonna do my right eye and see if I can accomplish and I'm just using the excess of the primer just at the bottom of my lower lash line because I might do like a something there with my eyeshadow so just to be ready I primed it in case I did want to do something underneath the eye but for now we're just gonna try to recreate this look you see here okay all right so you guys saw we're using the rolls palette by profusions and the wear test went great so if y'all haven't seen that wear test, I'm going to go ahead and link it. I'm going to put the card up there at the top. And I'm also doing a giveaway. And it ends on the 28th of January for those who want to enter and who haven't entered yet. I'll go ahead and put another card up here at the top, you know, so you can watch that video, the giveaway video. All right. So I first started off with the flat eyeshadow brush. And I use this shade Midnight. It's a dark black shade from this palette. And I went in and I used the outer corner of it. Just the outer corner. I patted the color to the outer corner. Can I see that? I hope y'all can see that. I'm just trying to get to where I can see and where I'm able to see what I'm doing okay and I'm just making like a little C shape half a circle just in the outer corner now if I rem I don't remember what I did next but I just know that I did the outer corner first So, once I did the outer corner, let me see how this looks. 
Sorry if it's a little blurred, but I gotta see if I have it right. Yeah, I think it's right there. Yeah, that's right. That's the right amount of shade I wanted on the outer corner. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Madly using my uh, smudge brush from El um, Ellen Tracy smudge brush. It's like a little, it's kind of tapered at the end. It's flat, but it's rounded. It's something I can use. Um, Madly is right here. This is a terracotta shade. I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the above the crease and just blend this shade out with the black. Blend it out and then going, blend it out outwards, doing, and then, and then just also doing circular motions on the outer corner, just the edges. We're kind of buffing out and diffusing the edges of this midnight shade with the Madly shade. That's what we're doing right now. Buffing the edges out of that. Going towards the inner corner of the eye. It's blurred, isn't it? Why is my camera so blurry? If I tap it, it'll it'll fix itself. I don't know why. Guess I might have gone. Maybe I'm just too far. Okay, there it goes. All right. So, like I said, just use that Madly shade all on the outer corner. Okay. Once we once that's been accomplished. Once that's accomplished, we can do, we're going to use, we're going to use another shade. We're going to use the shade Cryptic, which is this orange shade, which is a lighter shade than this terracotta shade. And we're also going to use this above the crease. Above the crease. Going inwards towards the inner corner and around the outer edge of the eye as well. But we're using it to blend the these shades together as well. Buff the edges out. Okay. Now we're gonna do more trickier part here. which is, now we're going to do the inner corner of the eye. Ooh, this is the more trickier part. So I'm going to go ahead and use this um, midnight shade again with the flat eyeshadow brush. And we're going to do the inner corner, okay? Just pat it on. Close your eye if you have to. You don't want to get it in that tear duct. Just be careful with your tear duct. Getting any kind of makeup in there is not pleasant. I woke up one day with pain in my eye and I don't know what it was because I didn't see any redness. There was no sty, there was no pink eye, nothing. It was just, I just heard it. I heard it inside my eye as well as that one stuff, the whole, the whole half side of my face was hurting. My head was hurting. My um, forehead, the back of my head, my neck. I didn't know what was going on with me, but I think it had to do with, uh, I had finished doing a tutorial or I don't even think it, I think it was, I was getting ready to go to church. It wasn't a tutorial. I was getting ready to go to church and I got, um, I had to, I had gotten some of that uh, makeup in my eye, tear duct. Which I got some right now, right there. I gotta be careful for it not to be. I gotta be careful not to rub it in because, because ever since then, you know, I woke up 
the following day, once I was feeling the pain, because I can tell something was irritating my eye. I woke up the following day, and then my eye was, was puffy, which is this left eye. You can still see a little puffiness on this side here. It, it, it just happened just a little while ago. It didn't happen. Um, it happened just recently, so you can still see a little puffiness around at the bottom of my eye here. And that was because of, you know, and that was just days and days of, uh, I didn't go to the doctor or anything because I figured, okay, it was probably my makeup, what I put on, you know, and I kind of probably either rubbed too hard when I was taking off the makeup, you know, using the makeup remover, or it was actually because I got, because I had to re-redo re the, the whole eye look again. So I think that's what it was. I had to redo it again, and I think, you know, a lot of that makeup got in my eye, the corner, the inner corner of my eye right here, and it hurt it. And, but like I said, it wasn't red, there was no sty, no nothing. It was just, um, like the following day, the pain had gone away. But, um, when I would turn my eye this way to the, to the right, it would hurt. Like I could feel like a, a little pull or strainer or pain right here in the corner of my eye. And then... Um, so yeah, so then the third day of that happening, I started getting some discharge in the middle, in the corner of my eye, but it was like that crust you would get in the morning. I don't know if, I don't usually get it, but that day I did get it because my, my eyes were watering, like watering, um, those days that my eye was irritated and bothered, it was watering. So, um, so I had woke up with, you know, crust. <laughs> In the corner of my eye and then it was puffy like really puffy really really puffy I will upload a picture of the puffy eye that I had I'll upload it right here as you can see as you saw the picture it looks puffier than what it is it was puffier before than what it is now now it's gotten a little better you can see but you can still see a little puffiness right here but, um, yeah, I think it was due to the makeup. Uh, I think I got too much of it inside the inner corner. I irritated it and did something. But then it went away. Yeah, it went away for me. We're going to go ahead and um, go into Madly again. And we're going to go ahead and um, try to buff this color out Do we, in the inner corner. Just right here at the top above. Inner corner crease. And then out towards the outer corner, just kind of like just concentrating it all in the crease. In the inner corner, where I put the midnight shade. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the cryptic shade. Which is the lighter, which is this orange shade here. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Go ahead and buff that out. Add that cryptic shade in with the center of the eye, with the yeah, the crease. Just out, just out towards the outer corner. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add some more using the flat brush again. We're going to use some more black shade, and we're going to go ahead and do the outside again, the outer corner. The outer corner of the eye. And the inner corner just right above the tear like right next to, not on the tear duct but next to the tear duct see that I got some fallout it's all right I can take some of that fallout off okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and use that smudge brush and we're going to go ahead and buff this shade out. 
gonna buff some of this black shade out. Just going into the crease, starting from the outer corner, going in towards the crease. Just buff it up, and then we're gonna go here, also going towards the center of the eyelid, and just going towards the inner corner. The inner corner, also buffing that out it out going from inner corner towards the outer corner like this and just make these lines meet at the center let these colors meet as you can see so, but you can still see that there's still some space left there for, for color. Let me just take some of this fallout off. See the inner corner of my eye starting to get a little darker. It has too much of that pigmented shade. I wanted to prevent that, but it's not bothering me or anything, but I know that I need, after this, I'm going to have to take take it off. After this tutorial, I'm going to have to take it off. Because, yeah, don't want it in there for too long. Otherwise, I think I'm going to, again, it's going to bother me again. So now for the center of the eyelid, I'm going to go ahead and use the Zenith shade, which is this gold tone here gold yellowish tone and we're gonna go ahead and just bring that into the center I wanna want it to be focused so I'm closing my eye and then I'm just smudging and smudging it in the center of the eyelid I'm just going into the crease with it downwards downwards and just going back and forth just right down the center of it most people would call this a halo eye or a spotlight eye which term you ever, whichever term you prefer to use, spotlight eye, halo eye. But I didn't, I didn't use a cut crease. I just used a lighter shade of eyeshadow, as you can see that. Okay. So there you have that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lash line. So using the bottom lash line, I'm going to go ahead and use my Avon eyeliner angled brush here. I like it because it has a real, real tightly precise tip. It's kind of tight. So, and the bristles are really stiff on it. So I'm going to use this for the lower lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the midnight shade first. And just do the bottom grab a mirror. You need a mirror for this. Okay, so here we go. Can you see it? Okay, yeah. So I'm just going along bottom waterline adding it in I do want to diffuse or buff this color out so I'm going to use the other end of my Avon brush which is just this a fluffier tip so I do want to go just kind of just go like this just kind of diffuse it Okay, and do the same thing to the other eye. 
to the left side of my eye, which is the one that I need to be careful because this is the one that I had an issue with. I hope I don't wake up the next tomorrow with the uh, puffy eyes and my eyes hurting again. That means that I am not being careful. I'm just being careless with my eyes and I don't want to do that because then I'll have to go to the doctor, to the ophthalmologist. And the bills will rack up. So now we're going to go ahead and smooth it out with the other end of the tip. Smooth it out. This is a beautiful color, by the way. I'm not sure if y'all like these autumn, -y, autumn colors, shades. I do. You see, it turned out really nice. I like the I like the way this highlight came out. Reminds me of autumn, fall, and autumn. I know we're in the winter right now, but here down in the south, it just you just get every types of weather. Not just cold, but you get warm weather. It's just, the weather's crazy over here. <laughs> it goes crazy over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and go in with um, Madly. This shade here, Madly. And I'm just going to use the regular blending side of my eyeliner brush. I'm going to use Madly. And I'm just going to buff it along with the with this midnight shade shade just because we have it on the outer corner the outer parts of our eye I just wanted to kind of blend in together with the bottom as well and we're also going to use that orange cryptic shade and I'm just blending it Just blending it in together with the midnight shade, which is nice. And then I'm gonna go with cryptic. Just go across. Okay. I'm gonna go with Madly, go to the other side here. I'm just, it, it already used, uh, I don't have any paint on this. I'd already used most of it by buffing all this out or smudging, smudging it in. So I'm just kind of just using whatever's left over, just going on this side to smudge the rest, to kind of blend it out more because it looked, it still looked like it was kind of, like it wasn't blended out. And I'm going to go ahead and use Cryptic, which is that orange shade, and just go around. And voila! There you have it. There you have it. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to come off camera, put on some mascara, and fix my hair, and then you'll see the finishing result of this eyeshadow look. This third look with the Royals palette. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so give me, a, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. This is the final look. Can y'all see that? <laughs> so, ta-da! Here's my final look. All right, so this is how it looks from up close. So let me close my eyes. And just do the little turn. See so I can actually see how this turned out. Right, so there you have it. That is the finishing look. What I did is I just put some liquid eyeliner and also used a um, 
I use my um, I use the, a yellow eyeliner from ColourPop for my waterline. And then I used my Maybelline The Colossal Volume Mascara. This is really good. I like the tip of, on this because it's curved and it's thin. So it volumizes your eyes. It, may, it lengthens them. And um, it doesn't give it as much volume as my other one, the, the Great Temptation or the Great Lash Temptation one that I always use in most of my tutorials. I use that one the most because it gives me a lot of volume. This one just extends my lashes out, but at the same time it doesn't give them that um, spider, like spider leg type of a, a finish to it. It's just, it just spreads my lashes out. You know, I curled them first and then it spreads my lashes out. So that's the reason why I like this Maybelline, the Colossal. I do uh, suggest or recommend that y'all do get that. Um, if you're like me, if you like, you know, natural lashes and you want them to look longer and, you know, don't look clumpy, I do recommend this Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Mascara. I'm not in any way affiliated with them or anything. It's just, uh, Maybelline has just been a very good, um, very good makeup line, drugstore makeup line for me. And um, their products are really good. And like I can clearly see, you know, the, the way the way they do my, the way the mascara performs on the eyelashes. You know, you know, I really like the way it performs on it. So I'm just giving you my opinion of, of that product. Um, but overall, this is, this is a finishing look. I did use uh, the LA Colors Metal to the Max. Uh, metallic liquid lipstick is not a it's doesn't matte it doesn't dry up it transfers it does come off so this is just more for like a first impressions type of lipstick type of lip, uh, liquid lipstick so first impressions you know well, and you can reapply as needed throughout the day if you, if you do decide to get something like this um, in the drugstore or family dollar this is where I got it. I got it at Family Dollar. And, um, yeah. So, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And, um, like my video. And then I'll see you in my next video. Love you, gems. And then also, I'm going to go ahead and put in, uh, the video for my giveaway. So, you be, um, so, those for, so for those who haven't seen my giveaway video, y'all can watch that. All right. Well, thank you. Love you, gems. Bye.